Welcome to Precision Programming Services. In this video, we're going to create a simple solid model based on a print supplied by VT Pros. Later on, we will do consecutive videos showing a few tool paths for this particular part. One of our things to start off with is to let you know that we're doing this in Mastercam 2018 and that this also works with Mastercam 2017. So I'm going to start off by creating the outside profile. So I'm going to go over to solids and I'm going to use a solid block. I'm going to right click and put this in isometric so we can visually see it. I'm going to come from the lower left hand corner based on our print. We'll stay with solid and we will go ahead and give that a dimension of 8 inches overall and a height of 4 inches or in this case a width and a height of 2 inches but I'm going to give that a minus 2 inches to bring it down. Leaving the direction this looks good. This location being our origin and we'll green check. So we have our basis for our solid. So let's go ahead and create some wireframes. So I'm going to put this in top view right click and top and fit it to the screen. I'm going to go over to wireframe. But before I do that, let's set a few settings. So let's go back to the home real quickly. And let's set the wire for a little bit thicker visually. And I'd like to change the option for the wire color to be 12. Now before we go over and start to create our geometry, let's go ahead and create another level. So let's create level 2. And let's call that wire for solid. I'm going to rename number one to be our solid. You'll see that there's two entities based on the solid model and when you create a primitive solid it automatically creates a center point. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in top view. Bring it down a little bit. I'm going to go to wireframe and I'm going to start off by creating a rectangular shape. Leave it at the base point configuration, lower left hand corner based on our print, and the width of that slot is 1.5, the height is 2.5, and let's give it the radius at this time of 0.25. So now we can see the preview comes out. I'll use one of the options to get to fast point mode, so I'll go ahead and use the option up here here for auto cursor fast point and I'm going to type in the value based on the print it's all positive direction so one inch in X comma and 0.750 in Y so we'll go ahead and apply that and say okay now let's go ahead and create a few circle center points so we're going to start off with the first one at three inch now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I'll go ahead and use that fast point mode. And that value is going to be 6 inch X and 2 inch in Y. I'm going to go ahead and say OK and stay in this mode. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is create those half inch diameters based on our print. So 0.5 and I'm going to go ahead and lock that value in here. Now this time to apply the values. Instead of going up here and using the fast point here, well, I'm just going to hit the space bar and we'll start to type in those values. So it'll be 3.5 in X, comma, and the first one is at 1 inch, enter. I'm going to go ahead and just continue to type. So now I'm just going to go ahead and type again 3.5, comma, and the next one is at 2 inch, and the next one is again 3.5 comma and 3 inch. Based on our comma to separate, it's always x, y, and z. So now that we have all that geometry created, we'll go ahead and say OK. I'm going to right click, put an isometric, and I'm going to look at continuing to create the 45 degree 750 chamfers at this end, and we have shown is a 4 inch diameter front radius here. So I'm going to go to solids. I'm going to do constant radius. I don't need to worry about body or face, just leaving edge to make my simplicity for selecting. So I'm going to select this edge 
and this edge, and we'll green check. You can see that it creates a small radius at 100 thousandths. We're going to say 2 inch to give us our full blend around that corner. So we'll go ahead and green check on that one. Now let's go to one distance chamfer. I'm going to go ahead for making it easy for selection to deselect these two. Now that my part is in translucent, I can select here and reach through and get the other edge. If it is not in translucent, you will need to move around to select that edge. So I'm going to go ahead and make that edge 0.750. And it doesn't hurt a lot of times to actually give notes. So this could be, in this case, 0 0.750 by 0 0.750 chamfers. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now the next thing I want to go ahead and do is actually work on these holes and pockets. So I'm going to go in solids, as we are, and let's go ahead and do the extrude. I'm going to go ahead and do the through holes first. So I'm going to select the first one, and then I'll just go ahead and use this option chain feature to grab the other ones for us. Now in this case, it's showing as a boss being create a body. We're going to do cut, and we're going to go ahead and change the direction for all of them. And we'll go ahead and say through all. And we can go ahead and call those 0.5 through holes. We'll stay in this motion, say OK. We'll select that chain there, and we'll go ahead and cut that, and that'll be the, based on the print, a 0.5 pocket, and make sure that it's at 0.5 as a distance for the cut. One more time, this one, and this one will be our 3 inch diameter, one inch in depth, and we'll call that one inch here. We'll go ahead and green check on that. Now what we can do is we can set this for note level number one, deselecting level two, as we no longer need the wireframe geometry. And now let's go ahead and put the chamfers on the part. So we'll go ahead and chamfer. I have it set for just edges. I'm going to hold the shift key down, let it find all the tangencies around. I will have to single select this edge here, and I can go ahead and select the tangencies here. You can also find that when we go into the actual function that it will default to tangencies by default. And we'll go ahead and select this edge. So in this case, we'll say 0.1 chamfers and of course preview showing us a large one so let's go 0.1 and we'll go ahead and green check so at this point we've created the basic solid model and we'll be able to use that for later on for actually creating a few tool paths so please look for our next set of videos